Hey horror freaks, welcome back to my channel, my name is Amanda. As you can see from the title, today's video is going to be a list of horror movies that are about haunted dolls or killer toys. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this list is because I feel that haunted dolls and killer toys are the type of things that scare a lot of people. The amount of people that I know that are scared of the porcelain dolls or chalky or Annabelle or basically any doll or toy that looks creepy is a, is a huge list. So I have a list with me for the sake of the video. I'm going to be talking about these films in chronological order. So I'm going to open with one that is actually the worst for me and it's Trilogy of Terror of 1975. Now this is an ontology horror film but it's the third story that is the one that features a killer doll and it follows Amelia that cancels the plans with her mother to see her anthropologist boyfriend on his birthday. But she bought him a wooden fetch doll with a Sunni hunter spirit trapped inside with a chain. The spirit's chain falls off as she leaves the room, releasing he who kills. Now, this doll and I, we have beef, we have personal issues, and I'm going to explain why. I saw this film when I was, I would say, six or seven. My mom put it on and we were watching it. I actually saw the part two of this before part one, because Trilogy of Terror, of course, has a sequel. But the third story, they did a continuation. But it's essentially the same thing, it's about doll. This doll is ugly as hell. And she makes this sound like cha-cha-cha. That thing gave me nightmares. Actually, it actually did. I remember that I saw this film. I didn't really feel scared of anything the first time that I saw it, but I definitely had some nightmares about this doll. And I hate it with my life. I have rewatched the film a few times to see if this has some type of effect on me. Not really, but definitely I wouldn't own this doll that I actually searched just out of curiosity and they have it on Amazon and to make my things worse, a couple of years back, I saw it on a store. Of course I didn't buy it because I don't have the mental strength to have this doll in my house. I definitely don't, but I'm going to say that the reviews on Amazon about this doll, they are hilarious. So if you have never watched this, um, the film in general is pretty good, but it's of course the third story that includes the doll. So if you have never heard about this, now you know. It's, it's a pretty good 70s film, but definitely the doll, it's an experience. Now I'm going to follow with dolls from 1987. This one follows a dysfunctional family of three that stopped by a mansion during a storm. A father, a stepmother, and a child. The child discovers that the elderly owners are magical toys makers and have a haunted collection of dolls. This is the nightmare for any person that is scared of these porcelain dolls because they are creepy as hell. This is a film that I haven't watched in years like i think i only saw it once but i remember about it so maybe it's not as good as i remember being completely honest i am not even sure what is the general opinion about it but i just wanted to include it because i remember watching it and i thought that it wasn't so bad but to be fair i was a child so maybe i should have rewatched it before doing the video so i am taking the risk right here so yeah we have another one that is dolls the next one is a classic and of course it's going to be part of the list and it's Child Play from 1988. Now this one follows a struggling single mother who knowingly gives her son a doll in wood with a serial killer consciousness. Now of course this has a whole franchise but for the sake of the video I'm going to be talking about the original Child Play. Chucky at this point is a classic horror character. He can be adorable and an evil menace and we even have a series right now. So if you have never got yourself into this franchise, if you like black comedy, because at the end of the day, that is what has become over the years, probably going to enjoy it. If not, then at least give it a chance to the, tri the original trilogy that uh, it's pretty good. I mean, Chucky is scary as hell, 
but it's pretty impressive to see the doll moving around and stuff especially for the time that it was made so this is of all the ones that are on this list probably the one that will be like on top priority to watch if you have never done and you have never watched it so that will be my take the next one is Puppet Master from 1989. Now this one follows a psychic that finds himself plotted against by a former colleague who committed suicide after discovering an animated murderous puppets. Now this one, it's less popular that child play, but it's still known and it has a cult following. This one of course has a whole franchise, but for the sake of the video, I'm talking about the first one. This dolls are creepy as hell and I saw them also in the same store that I saw the Sunni doll from Trilogy of Terror they had whole display they are impressive I would prefer to have puppet masters in my house rather than the Sunni doll or even Chucky I have never actually considered buying Chucky but because of how expensive it is because if I wanted to buy this I wanted to look good if you understand me so of course Chucky's expensive as hell. These ones, they aren't that expensive, but they look cute. So I would prefer having this rather than the Sunny doll. But I really like how they look and that's probably why I like the film. These sequels, I don't like them as much. I prefer just watching the original. But at the end of the day, is the design of the dolls what really brought my attention to it. And what probably made me like the film because it's very cheesy, it's probably not the best one out there, but I think that it deserves a chance. So you have never heard about it. Now you know that we have puppets running around that they are actual killers. The next one is probably one of my favorites and it's even included in my wall. And it's Dead Silence. Now this one follows after his wife meets a grizzly and Jamie Ashen returns to his hometown of Raven's Fair to find answers. His investigation leads him to the ghost of a ventriloquist named Maurice Shaw, who seems to have ties to his entire family tree. I have talked about this film a couple times here. It's one of my favorite films in general. I don't really get why it has such a bad rating and for me it's an underrated film from James Wong. The plot twist is amazing, the cinematography, the coloring, the dolls, I mean Billy the Puppet is scary as hell. The whole scenes with the puppets, like seriously I don't get why there's so many people that doesn't like this one. And once again, for me, it's an underrated work from James Wong. And it's probably one of the ones that I have rewatched the most from him. So this is, from me, a must-watch. If you have never seen it, run and do it. Seriously, if you don't have no idea about the plot, just don't even look it. Just go and sit down and watch it because, trust me, it's worth it. Because the plot is, the first time that I saw it, it blew my mind. And to this day, it still does. Because it's the type of things that... You're, there's almost no way for you to get what is going to happen and to guess. So seriously, 100% worth watching. Now the next one is a little bit obvious and it has sequels, but for the sake of the video, talking about the original and it's Annabelle. Now Annabelle follows the young form that thinks he has found the perfect gift for his expectant wife, a vintage doll in a beautiful white dress. However, the couple's delight doesn't last long because one terrible night, the devil worshippers invade their home and launch a violent attack against the couple. When the cultists try to summon a demon, they smear a bloody rune on the nursery wall and drip blood on Mia's doll, thereby turning the former object of beauty into a conduit of ultimate evil. Now, of course, we know that Annabelle is based on this real doll that was issue and investigated by Ed and Lorraine Warren. This is correlated to the Conjuring universe and it's part of it. I think that by this point almost everyone has seen this ones because they are very commercial. So they are my favorites but it's had to be part of the list because at the end of the day Annabelle is a pretty popular doll. Now the next one is one that I like although I know that many people doesn't and it's Goosebumps. Now this one follows a teenager that teams up with the daughter of a young adult horror author R.L. Stein after the writer imaginary demons are set free on the town of Madison's Delaware. 
Now this film is not solely about a killer toy, but we could call it kids friendly because Goosebumps at the end of the day, I would say that is teenagers or kids horror. I saw it when I was a teenager, but I definitely I could see kids watching this and enjoying it because it's for that type of audience. So don't expect this to be very scary. It's more fun and comedy than other stuff but so that's why i am including it maybe if you have a kid or maybe if you enjoy this type of films maybe you want to sit down and watch it next we have one that is actually bad but i am including it because once again it's about a doll so it has to be kind of and is robert now this one follows in this chilling story based on a real life events a family experienced terrifying supernatural occurrences when their son acquires a vintage doll called robert this doll is real the whole story is very creepy and there's a lot of weird things around it the films they aren't good there are a few of them but once again including it because it has a doll in it and i thought that maybe if you didn't know about it and i thought well maybe not everyone knows about it maybe they want to give it a chance so now you know the next one is the boy for the sake of the video i'm going to be talking about the first one now this one follows an american nanny that is shocked that her new english family boy is actually a life-size doll after she violates a list of strict rules disturbing events make her believe that the doll is really alive now this one is one that the ending and that plot twist got me so awkward I wasn't expecting, well this is a spoiler, of him coming out of the walls. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Um, I do not hate this film, but definitely it's not the best one out there. It's pretty decent. So maybe we want to give it a chance. The sequel, don't even try that one. I do not really like it. So just to stick with the first one. Maybe you can have an enjoyable time. Maybe a movie night with your friends. If you want to have like a laugh or something. This could be it. But it's not excellent by any means. But I would say that it's worth giving it a chance. And to end the list. I have a pretty recent one. That it's Megan. Now Megan follows a robotic engineer. At a toy company that builds a life like doll. That begins to take a life on its own. I enjoyed Megan. I know that many people didn't, but I did. And we have a sequel that is supposed to be coming next year. This one is more of AI rather than being haunted. But I still think that it's pretty creepy. It's a little bit campy. But I definitely think that it's worth watching. Because again, it's not perfect by any means. But it's not that bad either. So I had a fun time. I have rewatched it a couple times. And I still enjoyed it. Now I am going to end the video with an honorable mention. And it's Coraline. The film is not about a doll. But it has a doll that is a pretty popular one. Because of the buttons. Now Coraline follows. Wandering her rambling old house in her boring new town. An 11 years old Coraline discovers a hidden door. To a strangely idolized version of her life. In order to stay in the fantasy. She must make a frightening real sacrifice. Coraline, in my opinion, is a horror stop-motion film. I know that for some people it's not. For me, it is. And of course, it features a doll. And there's many people that are scared of it because of the buttons, because it looks creepy. For me, it's adorable. So that's why it's an honorable mention. And with that, I end the list. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below which one for you is the scariest one for me. It definitely has to be the Sony doll from Trilogy of Terror. Like I said, we have beef. This is personal. I hate that doll in my life. It gave me a few nightmares when I was a kid. I don't want to have to deal with that. Like seriously, if I ever see it in person again, you're, she's going to get set on fire. Like my boyfriend, he likes to mess with the fact that he could one day just give it to me and then he's going to mess with it. Uh -uh. No, I cannot do that. There's no way that I could be sleeping knowing that that thing is inside my house. <laughs> I just can't. I just know it. But once again, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you guys on my next video. Bye. Game over.